Hi, Andrew Glazer here from the Glazer Tutoring Company. Today, we'd like to teach you how to balance Na plus O2 yields Na2O. First thing is I like to place in these lines to the left of the molecules, and that will represent the location of the coefficients. Next thing is just keep in mind the general principle that however many elements and atoms you have on the left-hand side of that reaction have to equal however many elements and atoms you have on the right. Okay, without further ado, just begin now with the first element you see. I don't really use a table method. I kind of just do this out as we go, all right? So you have how many sodiums here on the left? Well, you have one. That's where the subscript comes into play. You got one sodium on the left, and on the right-hand side, you have two sodiums. That's not balanced. You always place in now the coefficient on the lower side, okay? So you have to think to yourself, what number multiplied by one will give me a total of two? And obviously that value is two. Two. Now that should kind of make sense because now it's saying that you have two sodiums, right? And that should balance then the two sodiums that are in one Na2O, right? That's assumed to be a one there, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. Now let's move on to the next thing, oxygen, okay? How many oxygen do we have here on the left-hand side? Well, then we have two. How many on the right-hand side? Well, we have a one. That's not balanced. So how do we balance it? Well, always place the coefficient on the larger, uh, on the lower side, excuse me. <laughs> I just told you lower, and now I'm telling you larger, and it's like, what is this guy talking about? Always on the lower side, okay? Always on the lower side. So uh, the question is then, what number multiplied by one will give us a total of two? And again, that value is going to be a two. So now oxygen's balanced. Now you might say, oh, goody gumdrops, I'm done, but wait a minute. You balance the oxygen over here, that's great, but now you screwed up the sodium value, right? Two times two is what? Four. You now have four sodium on the right, and you're like, oh no, I got two sodium on the left. What am I going to do? No big deal. Who cares? Go back and change the sodium value, right? Look at this. Just put a, four. there it is. Finished, right? So nice and simple. Really easy, okay? So don't get too worried. Like if you're like, oh no, I got to place a value here. I'm going to screw up my sodium. Maybe, maybe it depends on the problem. Maybe you really don't want to do that. Depends on how hard it is or whatnot. But the reason why I wasn't concerned that I screwed up my sodium is because I know that I have sodium only here. And whatever value I place in this location for its coefficient, it only affects sodium. So I know I could balance that, right? So if I threw it out of whack, if I screwed it up, doesn't matter. I'm going to be able to balance it without a problem. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. By the way, we've got thousands of videos out there. Chemistry, physics, mathematics, we get a whole lot of other stuff coming out. All right, we solve specific problems. Check it out. We'd love to help you with more. Take care.